What up, tribe? It's your girl, Raji, and I'd like to welcome you to my podcast, The Kush Concierge, Something for the People, where the evolved hustler comes to learn more about hoodoo, tarot, culture, astrology, and a little bit of everything in between. I pray you guys had an amazing day yesterday, and if you're new here, welcome to the tribe. Again, my name is Raji, and I'll be your guide on your journey to Kush. And if you're an OG, thank you guys so much for continuing to support the movement and engage with my content. I appreciate you all so much. So, if you need a private booking, click the link in my bio. I do have available slots open today. If this message resonates, don't forget to hit that share button. You never know who it could help. Tell a friend, tell a friend, okay? So, yeah, I did go ahead and get the podcast from yesterday. The visuals are uploaded on YouTube, and the extended version is also going to be available to you guys on Patreon if you're a Patreon subscriber. If you just can't wait, make sure you guys go ahead and tap into my, what is it, my TikTok. You'll know it's me because um, I be talking to people. (laughs) I I typically like a like, you know, responses. um, And then my backup page, I add my main page. So if there's no add to my main page, you know it's not me. Okay, y'all. So, you Enough that the logistics are out of the way. I do want you guys to tap into this Saturn Saturday energy. You know, Saturday is ruled by Saturn. So today we're tapping into the wisdom of our elevated ancestors. We are maneuvering with a sense of patience. Um, we are ending, we are binding, we are cleansing anything that stands in the way of our path forward. Okay. Today significantly Vesta, which um and Astro enters Virgo. So you are more in up to creating new rituals and routines that again help you get towards your higher self. We are still within the throes of the retrograde. We've got about four more days before Mercury officially gets out of the retrograde within the sign of Leo. But there is a shadow phase where it's kind of like clearing out that murky energy. So just be mindful of that. Um, But yeah, we do have a significant retrograde still going on. Let's see this. But one, two, three, four, five, like six retrogrades going on right now. Um, now overall with the aspects, um, going on, we have a waning gibbous moon in Taurus, you know, Taurus rules the heart chakra and Taurus is all about making long-term plans and doing things that, you know, are going to be beneficial for you. So I feel like that's a good vibe to be in because today is like Saturn and Saturn is older, more patient. Um, so I feel like that's an interesting and good energy for us to be in today. Um, Taurus is also, um, tapping into your neck, um, which I would put more towards your throat chakra too. Um, so today you may be again, planning long range goals, public speaking, um, dental work, putting up preserves, preserving things and dealing with financial money matters. Shout out to Taurus Gang, you know, life of the luxury, but service, um, again, getting ready for harvest season. Like, I feel like the last little bit of this all is us doing that substantial work in the universe. God, however you subscribe to this journey is whoever you subscribe to on this journey is definitely testing you and again seeing if you really about that action if you really want the life and the the well i'm just gonna leave it at that if you really want the life that you're saying you won't like i feel like they're like hmm are you sure are you sure sure can you do this um I finished the first season of Preacher on Netflix yesterday, y'all. So, you, I said I was going to do a tribe talk after every um, season. So, today I'm committing myself to tapping into tribe talk. But I'm going to read some chapters with an S um, in Women Who Run With Wolves and The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron first. So, yeah. Just hold tight, y'all, because I did. I just finished the last, the first season last night. So before each season, 
I'm going to go in and talk to y'all about what I think is the underlying decode for the collective for that series. Again, it's Preacher. It's on AMC Plus if y'all don't have Netflix, um, which I don't know like how many seasons the show ran for, but it's pretty good. I'm I'm satisfied. It, 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 it's intriguing. I'm not bored. I'm not bored. I'm not saying a lot. <laughs> so yeah, Tribe Talk comes soon. Um, now the sun in Virgo is trining the moon in Taurus at six degrees, working together to make sure that you are eradicating things that don't serve you so that you can get, um, the necessary harvest, right? We got a little less than a month now. It's the 21st of September or the 22nd. The, the harvest season comes in, so you got a little less than a month to kind of get back on track, which I know, like, it's ambitious. It's it's very ambitious because this retrograde, like, whoo, and they say, like, this won't, like, level out until, like, November-ish. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of review, lots of like get your life type energy, okay? The sun in Virgo is conjuncting Mercury in uh, what is this Leo retrograde at nine degrees. So you are reaching a point of finality, like the coup de gras of what you know to be true and what you're willing to commit to uh, with that hermit Virgo energy. Like, are you willing to put in the work and you might feel like you're juggling multiple things right now. Um, this might be taking a toll on your self-confidence, um, but you can maneuver in ways that will build you up. Like, I'm so... Mm. I feel like the analogy of what I said about the F5 tornado and you're sitting there like Yoda with your feet, legs crossed and you're meditating and people are like, how is this person able to significantly get past all of this ugly storm, chaotic energy? And it's because you are willing to face yourself. It's because you haven't allowed your pride and ego to take over. You're using those moments of refinement. And then you're also giving yourself grace enough to be human. You know, you realize your spirit having a human experience because there are lessons while, you know, obviously being able here to heal others and your, you know, close people close to you or whatever, you also see that you got a little bit of a mission to be going on yourself. There's refinement. I think that's what people miss out uh, when they talk it to people that have spiritual gifts or on some sort of mission to do a certain thing. It's like everybody's going through their moment. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has their team. So give yourself grace as well as others. Through the process and I feel like that sun in Virgo conjuncting Mercury and Leo retrograde is giving you that courage and that confidence to say okay I'm committed to making sure that I know what I know what I know and nobody's going to snatch that away from me and it also kind of shaves off that element of ego and self-righteousness to the point of not being relatable or not being insightful enough to do the inner work for yourself you know I talk really heavily about leading by example so the sun in Virgo is squaring Uranus in Taurus four degrees so Virgo wants to give balance Virgo wants to hurry up and get this shit over with right but you got Uranus and Taurus kind of dragging its feet because it's here for the long haul and while Virgo is very much um committed to the long game it's like okay but how much more time do we need to make a decision uranus and taurus you know things have to change we know they have to happen 
Why are we having a hard time committing and just moving forward on the journey? So there's a level of balance and freedom that's intact for that energy today. The sun in Virgo is Canucks, Neptune, and Pisces at two degrees, helping you gain that free will to follow your intuition, create the lifestyle that you are pulling from your imagination, from your 5D into the 3D. So I feel like that's a good place, you know, that Canutes energy, giving you balance, giving you insight. I like that. That's cool. Like, you know what you need to do, so go on and do it. <laughs> The sun in Virgo is also Canute's Pluto in Aquarius, retrograde at one degree, very potent energy for giving you a chance to kind of come out in a rebirth fashion, allowing you to transform, allowing you to commit to this new side of yourself. Then, you know, maybe past versions of you, you kind of wondered, would it be able to manifest in the 3D? But I feel like that Virgo realism is like, yeah, you got the power to do this shit. You really do. You didn't think you did, but you do. The moon in Taurus is squaring Pluto in Aquarius retrograde, eight degrees. So what goes around comes around like a hula hoop. Shout out to Lil Wayne. <laughs> What goes around comes around. Um, you're having to put in the work and it's like that that amount of service, that amount of self love that the other end of Taurus energy teaches us. Um, and I feel like my bad job. I hit the phone with my lata. But I feel like that that Taurus energy is like, okay, Wayne and Gibbies, what, what, how are you going to be more in alignment with your higher self if you don't lean into change? And if you know anything about Taurus energy, usually it's kind of like, mm, I want to live well. I want to be stable. I want to have servitude and self-worth. But damn it, I don't want to have to shift too much to do that. And that Pluto in Aquarius retrograde is definitely like tagging that ass with that today. Like, mm. So you think you can have this great life without shifting, without changing. You're just going to sit comfortably in your delusion. Mm -mm. Nope. Mercury in Leo retrograde is sextile Mars in Gemini at zero degrees. So taking action, working. Um, be mindful, though. Be very, very mindful. Don't be shooting off at the mouth. It is going to cause a little bit of conflict because, you know, while they are sextile, make sure you're on the, ver the end of the spectrum of you getting that extra little blessing from being patient with your speech, not allowing your ego to tap in, um, dotting your I's and crossing your T's in that way before you take action, okay? Gemini is about the sense of protection to like focus and alertness, like keeping your eye on the swivel, your hand on the swivel rather. Let's see y'all. Mercury in Gemini is also squaring Uranus and Taurus at four degrees. Mm. My, my bad, Mercury in Leo retrograde. I don't know why I said Gemini. Do I want it to be in Gemini? Ooh, I feel like Mercury in Gemini would be so chaotic. Very chaotic. It's ruled by Mercury. So, ooh, lots of little white lies. Big lies. Mm -mm, illusions and delusions. We already in retrograde. So, it's like you are under the illusion that you can't wear this invisible crown. Maybe you've got this crown that no one can see. Or at least they're pretending not to see it, right? And it's affecting how you stand in your autonomy because of that minor conflict there with that squaring aspect. It's affecting you making long-term plans and you standing in your power today. Venus, Venus in Virgo, okay? It is squaring Mars in Gemini of zero degrees and it's also squaring Jupiter in Gemini of five degrees. Hmm... Wanting you to commit, wanting you to remain steadfast, wanting you to be realistic, wanting you to lean into refining the self-love and self-worth that you have for yourself. But what makes you relatable is not necessarily comfortable on the path forward. There's a need for change. 
Venus in Virgo is opposing Saturn in Pisces, retrograde at six degrees. Again, with the hostility from your past energies, your past tribe, your past people. Um, you know, did you learn your lesson? Are you willing to go forth and do the work? Are you are you wise enough to realize like people, places, and things that don't fit anymore? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you wise enough to stop pretending that something works when it doesn't? Venus in Virgo is trining Uranus in Taurus, three degrees, giving you that love, that community that you need to kind of push forward. And it's also opposing Neptune and Pisces retrograde at five. So it's like changes, significant changes, significant growth. But it's like, okay. Why aren't you following your intuition? <laughs> Why don't you love yourself? I tell my clients that sometimes, like, what part of you resonates with that past version? Like, why do you feel like that's the best that you can do for you? Venus in Virgo is trining Pluto in Aquarius retrograde at six degrees. That is wanting you to change, wanting you to shift, wanting to balance things out for you, uh, wanting to make it right, you know, but you got to want better for yourself. Mars in Gemini is conjuncting Jupiter in Gemini four degrees, so it's kind of chaotic and it can get more chaotic -er. I know that's not a word, y'all, so you got to like fact check me. <laughs> But, yo, it's, it can get chaotic. So be mindful, okay? Don't fall for the okie doke. Stay balanced. Stay observant. Stay aligned. Mars in um, Gemini is squaring Saturn in Pisces. And it's retrograde. It's also squaring Neptune in Pisces retrograde. Five degrees, six degrees. Feeling, knowing you need to change some shit, then intuitively doing the inner work is being challenged today. Um, but the best thing about Gemini is, but I be feeling like nah, cause Gemini's do be holding grudges. That's a lie. I was gonna say it it'll come and it'll go, but honestly, they might be like it might be over and done, but then it'll also be like some shit they hold on to. <laughs> Jupiter in Gemini is squaring Saturn in Pisces retrograde at zero degrees, which basically just backed up just what I said. It's like they're focused in um and it's hard for them to learn the lesson. It's hard for them to be patient. It's hard for them to really do the work right now. You know, your focus is in places that it shouldn't be. And that's a, that's a moment for us all. You know, you should be focusing on shit that's going to, like, do you good. Not things that, like, throw you off. But, you know, players fuck up. So just get back on task. Uranus in Taurus is sextile Neptune in Pisces retrograded two degrees. It is also trining Pluto in Aquarius retrograded two degrees. Fact checking. Cleansing. Fact checking. Things coming up. How are you going to create this new timeline for yourself? You're being supported today in taking time to realize that. Like when I was, um, I have a worksheet for the evolved hustler where it's like on Saturdays genuinely you like write down what did and didn't work so I feel like that's that where that little energy is coming from like you know what didn't work what need to leave endings that's what Saturday is all about well not all but you know part partly let's see Neptune in Pisces retrograde is sextile Pluto in Aquarius retrograde. Like I said, they're getting along with that. Change it up, switch it up, she. Mm -hmm. The nude is retrograding in Aries and it's opposing Lilith and Libra. This has been the energy for about two weeks. Your higher self is having a time with your past self and balancing all that out and checks and balances have come and it's just like mm, it's not fun <laughs> Lilith is making you do the shadow work right now so you can ascend and nothing about that shit is comfortable Lilith in Libra is also Canucks the moon in Taurus at two degrees it is opposing Neptune in Pisces at six degrees um and it's been opposing 
not wanting to do their damn shadow work. And it's just Lilith is just changing signs. Lilith is just cycling through all of us because um Lilith is not with you accepting any type of bullshit. Like if you have some sort of purpose and you're like not in flow right now. You are having a time. A time is was had, but it ain't it damn showing sure a good time. I gotta keep it real. So be in flow. Be willing to change. Be willing to follow your intuition. Be willing to listen to your past, like your inner child. I ain't gonna say your past, but like your inner child. Yet voice inside of you that knows that, like, no, this shit just mm -mm. this ain't how I would raise me. Like, how would you raise you? What would you tell your younger self to shed and leave behind? You know, what's right, what's fair, what's true, right? Lilith is also trining Pluto and Aquarius retrograde at six degrees, working together to make sure you, you, you have this tower moment, the tower to come in so you can face your shadows. Chiron is pretty busy today. Chiron said, I'm retrograding and I'm trining in the sun in Virgo. Mercury and Leo retrograde at zero degrees. Um, Canucks Venus in Virgo at zero degrees. Sextile Mars in Gemini at zero degrees. And it's squaring Pluto and Aquarius retrograde at six degrees. Ooh, all them shadows, all this struggle, all this shit coming to light. We still lingering off that Leo energy. You know, Leo's ruled by the sun. And Virgo, like, hey, if you scared, say you scared. But you got to get in the field with it. Period. Six of coins, mother of coins. You better make sure you're making the right investments, hun. <laughs> make your next move your best move, type team. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, spirit, for opening the roads, Papa. Thank you for opening the roads for me to speak with the spirit team, my elevated ancestors, on what we should do next. Things that we may have picked up and learned from this previous seven days. Well, this one included six days so that we can move forward in this next seven and do what we need to do. Thank you so much for protection. Thank you for clarity. Uh -huh. Thank you for discerning. Thank you so much for the gift, Spirit. You know we don't abuse the gift. We honor it. We appreciate it. Uh, what I found very interesting about the Preacher series was, like, he was real. Like, he was. He had this great power, right? The ability to see light, the ability to see shadow, and the, to exist in both realms, you know, like, free will basically right but he knew that he had something that he should be doing okay and i find it very interesting that like spirit was like and there's like several spirits but like his dominant spirit was one of like this warrior and he still was like coming through kicking ass and taking names and he did feel a sense of overwhelming from the power that he had like it, it taps into the idea of the tower of babel in terms of not wanting a certain energy to reach a height because then okay there's more <laughs> there's a challenge you know you are powerful um you are your own version of this situation it was just like as the city the city figured out that they like i, I have an interpretation about it because okay i'm gonna go like spoiler alert to try to talk it was like at the end right jesse was like gonna prove to people that he could speak to god that he was god body so he did but then it turned out when he went to like show people god like the heavens did appear the skies did open but when he went to talk to god like the person was impersonating god right so what i get from that is from what they saying like as soon as the people okay Soon as the people of the town felt like they had nobody to light the way for them or like a deity or whatever, they just all went to shit. They just went to doing whatever the fuck they wanted to do. Like, oh, we have nobody watching us. But in the grand scheme of things, I feel like what they saying is you have to have a sense of God within yourself at the end of the day. And I feel like that's what a lot of like 
spirituality has come to be more about. Like when you examine the chakras, when you examine like your path, this is about you aligning and using the tools around you to create this divine balance, this growth within yourself. Because we have like several chakras we have several things to acquire but i feel like jesse was like he could have went with it he could have rolled with it but it just was like you're not god like da 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 so i feel like that's the way of saying there isn't some sort of thing you are the thing like i feel like that was like somewhat of the message like you are the thing but when people leaned into just okay well they just did whatever they was instinctively called to do and that destroyed the entire fucking town <laughs> the whole town got destroyed at the end of the series but i ain't gonna spoil the tribe talk but it, it, it's 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 crazy though because it's like once you realize like a little piece of god exists in you 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 what are you gonna do with your power what are you gonna do with your autonomy now that you know that and a lot of people be being fucked up like that's how you have like tyranny and loss and it's just crazy like i said at the end of the show like the damn town <laughs> like it, it they said it was no survivors basically but the new the new season he i've read the descriptions uh of the shows and it's gonna be some type of like what's the fate of the city so i don't think the city gone gone but i feel like whoever's supposed to be eradicated eradicated because they got autonomy and they is just went fucking nuts they they went nuts so it's an interesting take but i feel like you have to be somewhat responsible for how you move now <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You your crown chakra or whatever however, like I say, you choose to see the journey is gonna be heavily dedicated to how balanced you are in the the like the power that you hold over yourself. Are you gonna use it for good? Are you gonna use it to be righteous? Or are you gonna just say fucking to do what you wanna do? You know what I'm saying? Like that type of vibe. I don't know what I'm going with that. We'll tap. We'll chat more and try to talk, cause I don't want to get too, too wordy, without really like giving you realness. <laughs> cause Jesse, Jesse remind me, like I know I'm. I was supposed to watch that show, and I'll go into why I know I was supposed to watch it, um, and try to talk. But it was meant for me to watch that shit, so I'm just like, okay, hmm. And I'm gonna decode with y'all just simply because. Y'all the tribe, so something about what I say, you be feeling me. So you must, you know, you got to be somewhere along the lines of, you know, stepping out of the box and really trying to forge a new path, either for your family or yourself, or it's something that you should be doing and you are healing and you are working very hard and you are facing opposition, spiritual attacks because of it, but you like fuck it we ball like i want this new thing more than i'm comfortable in the old thing you know so somewhere along the lines we resonate that similar energy you know that independent energy that questioning like not just going for what a motherfucker tell you type team you know they can't just tell you in the old team that's where you at with it and you are being challenged. It's like Jesse. Jesse is being hunted <laughs> in the show. I ain't gonna go to my okay. Tune in for chat talk. Okay. I'm gonna do it today, y'all. I promise. I promise I'm gonna do it today. I just wanna read a few chapters so I can catch up in the book. So I can tie it all in together because I know I've been missing. But like I said, shit, I'm going through the retrograde with y'all. Shit been real. Woo! <laughs> Shit be real, man. Oh my lord. So we we in this. We in now. It's dangerous, but it's lit. Okay. But let's see what they got for us. What what do the elevated ancestors got for us today? What is the past energy looking like? Six of baskets in the upright, present. Seven of baskets in the upright, collective. 
Four of Knives, any upright, near future. Ace of Coins, any upright. And what's the overall energy for today? Three of Sticks, any upright. Okay, 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 okay. But you know, <laughs> the ancestors is like, I don't know. Okay, anyway, I ain't going to be negative. I'm just going to say, mm, I'm kind of excited. Baby. Again, you just never know. But the basis of what's going on is you have made peace with your past. You have grown past certain things that were meant to hinder you. You've reached a sense of clarity and a realism, even in your search for this dream life, this thing that hasn't manifested in the 3D for you just yet. You're still putting those pieces together you are more grounded now in your emotions and you four of knives here you've gotten a sense of moving past the stagnation that you maybe were faced with and because of that you are now being granted ace of coins a new path um a new journey the ace of coins is like the start of a new journey and three of sticks is indicating that because you made the decision to move forward that's why you finna get this mm -hmm. i noticed yesterday like when i don't talk about i feel like who's still riding with me you shed the bullshit right and once you shed the bullshit, once you, you know, there'll always be, you know, you, you the main topic. You, you the main character in your story. <laughs> if you fucking with me, you the main character in your story. Real shit. I'm a Leo rising. If you anywhere near me at this point in your journey, you the main character in your story. Whether you want to be or not, you, you know, that's just being realistic. Like, in the show, Jesse did not want to be the main character. He was on some bullshit, like, what the fuck, you know? And with my Capricorn moon, I find myself being like that a lot, too. Like, definitely popular loner vibes, you know? Like, very, I don't like to use the word humble, but, like, stay to yourself type shit. But you still seen no matter what. You be trying to, you be playing it low-key, but even when you try to play it low-key, you still shine. So if you're part of this collective, you probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you definitely not an insecure person if you if you rhyme with me right now. And you even if you have had trials and tribulations, spirit is still thrusting you out to complete some sort of mission. Even if it's on just a family level, it might not be on like a worldwide level. Hell, all work is work. You feel me? And so just keep that in mind. But yeah. You you made peace. You got clarity that in order for you were ending some sort of stagnation in your life and you essentially chose to start over. That coins is long-term energy, you know? So now you're ready to take take flight. You're ready to move on. And that's go on a new journey. Sticks is action, movement, passion, decisions, you know? Well, not necessarily decisions, but more so action, passion, stuff like that. You heal something about your emotions, though. And that's why. That's why you being granted this Ace of Coins. And I just want to say congratulations because ain't a bitch-ass thing about it easy. You know what I'm saying? Deciding that you're going to evolve in the face of people that just want more of the fucking same. And then um, I follow my girl Tara on Dicks, which I love her. Um, and she made an interesting point, which is something that I already knew. But when you get that confirmation, you'd be like, yeah, okay. I'm not the only one who feel like that. Good. Especially when people be playing in your face trying to make you feel like you crazy. But, um, or you not even, you don't know what you're talking about. Like gaslighting one-on-one, -on -one, right? But she made the, the mention of the fact that people will see your light. People will see your gifts and they'll be like, oh no, nah, that ain't what it is because they want to feed off that shit. They, long story short about what she said, I might, did I even, I wonder, did I repost that shit? But uh, on TikTok. But anyway, like, she was like, they'll see you not using your gift. They see you not like, and they try to keep you down from using your shit so that you 
you don't level up. So then they use your energy. They feed off your energy in the meantime, in between time. And I have had two separate instances in my life with two very significant people around me that really try to play in my face in a way to be like, oh, yeah, you... Like, I literally had somebody tell me, like, I wasn't who I thought I was. Like, no, you ain't who you think you is. But yet, you want to use my my eye of Horus to get you through you want to use my energy to get you through like or even just questioning my abilities like is this power going to be too much for you but it's not too much for you you feel me like type shit so be mindful of that type of energy because tarot on dicks dicks was interesting like i was like damn that's like the exact situation that like i feel myself going through sometimes with people around me like uh you don't want me to shine because you like the shine, so you want to take the shine. And the shine is not like popularity um, or something like superficial. No, that's just like when I say shine, like the shining, like your gift, your spiritual gifts, your light, um, your journey. Like, And even if they can't essentially have it through use, it'll be like as long as they can feed off you, you know what I'm saying? They'll do it, but the collective is now like, mm, I'm good. I want to grow forward. I want to have a new timeline. I'm not really trying to do this shit no more. Yeah, there's a dark high priestess in your rear view. Taurus could be significant that sees that you're moving forward to your journey. And you've also got a father of knives who is very much in some sort of feminine energy mother figure here mother of baskets father of knives like you're moving on from these people and this person is in their feelings about it because you are now leveling out and you know what you know with this daughter of knives you realize this is toxic this is unstable this is not a wish fulfillment for you to be these people's like unending source of light, you know. So you've overcome this challenge and now you are more focused on community. You're more focused on yourself and that's why you're getting this victory. And these people, they wanted you to have this loss and they worked on you to make that happen. But something's no longer coming together. Because you are, they can't work against you because you're more focused, you're more, you're more courageous. You see shit for what it is. Should I have pool club? I mean, we all in the upright, and y'all know this. That's kind of like not normal, but I'm <laughs> lately. <laughs> but I'm gonna take that shit in stride. I ain't even finna pull no clarifiers for the hoodoo tarot because let me see somebody for a nap right quick y'all i feel like spirit like keep moving keep going keep slaying the dragons i will help you yo you cool yeah you you're kind of here to yourself right now you recovering. You enjoying. <laughs> Somebody asked me how I was doing yesterday. One of my homies. Shout out to you, sis. You know who you are. And I was like, I'm at peace. Like, that's the best way I could put this shit. And it's four of knives in your right. It's about being at peace. Recovering. So you can get ready to go on your journey. And that's why I'm at. Like, I be at peace. People be thinking you be in solitude. Like, you don't see you out on the scene. You know, you ain't here, there, and everywhere in everybody's face. And they take that as a sign of some type of lack. But the whole time, like, they say you somewhere loading up the end of the clip. <laughs> and I feel like that's why I'm at with it, too. Like, I'm chilling. Sometimes it could be a little... Because, obviously, I'm a human, you know, spirit having a human experience. So, sometimes, you know, but not not as often as you would think. <laughs> um, but it's a level of peace. Like, I feel at peace. Not having to battle. Not having to fight. Not having to explain. Not having, you know, to defend my character or my beliefs, you know, I feel very much at peace right now. Um, 
I'm ready. And I'm, I assume that you guys are too for our next assignment. <laughs> okay, um, guys, tell me what's going on here. Yeah, you moving forward. You done made peace with the pigs. You got the five of cups in the reverse. You are not in regret. Uh-huh, because you see, you, you realize there's a transformation that happened here. You're not in regret. You got Capricorn, the devil card came out. Mm -hmm. the, the world, the end of a cycle. You transform. This is it. That that door is closed. That portal is closed, honey. You closed that door on these attachments. You said, okay, I'm leaning into change. Whatever that means for me. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I love it. Tell me about the present. So now you are contemplating in regards to a three of cups energy. What's this spirit? You're wanting. You're contemplating. You got an eight of coins in the reverse. Hold on. What's that? Yeah. So you may have realized that there were some people working against you, um, trying to come into your energy. But whatever plans that they had, you it's not working. Like you're receiving justice for them trying to stop you, so trying to stop whatever you were building. You realize these people is working against you. Okay. Um, you realize they shit. So. You are getting justice for that as we speak. Libra could be significant. Tell me about the collective. Yeah, you're recentering yourself then because you're like cut off from people. You are now like they're weakened because of this. They don't have as much confidence as they once had because you like ducked off. You like grounding yourself. You're becoming one with your mind body and spirit so they are not as confident so you are got the energy of okay let's let's see what's up let's see what's new leo could be significant and they are gonna come offer you something we've been saying that for quite some time like they don't know how to take you right now and you are being guided to refuse this offer because they just want to come along for the ride, be it energetically or whatever. And they don't care if they get a little bit of the coattail or a big bit. Because this is page energy. You feel me? <laughs> this is page energy here. So they, they like, whatever I can take. You know what I'm saying? It's that emperor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, that emperor energy, that emperor is like, you don't feel the same. Mm -hmm. We got the three of sticks, yeah. This emperor is going to be coming towards you quickly, possibly within the next three days. And this could be a feminine in her masculine as well. They want to come towards you. You know, you've recentered yourself. You at peace and they it has taken their strength like when you were unbought you were bothered acting out like it was like you was feeding the monster you decided that you don't want to feed the monster anymore and that's why spirit is like all right i got you <laughs> you know yeah he's somebody yeah and i said that as soon as i said that temperance came out in the upright <laughs> angels spirit said all right you you don't want to feed the monster no more i got you <laughs> i used to be like i know my monsters and if you know your monsters which means you know your shadows you know your triggers you can work with them better but if you don't know the parts of you that are shadows, if you have no idea what your triggers are, you gonna have a hard time out here this season, period. Because you can't decipher the energy. You can't decipher whether, like, your work needs refining or whether it doesn't. Like, Jesse in the show, he had to come to terms with the fact that, like, you have to give people their free will. He had shadows. He had darkness. 
that needed to be worked on. Nobody's perfect. Like, that was a big thing. Like, nobody's perfect. Everybody had their darkness. But it was so many people, like, denying. Like, it was the extremes. Nobody had, like, a good balance. Jesse had a good balance, but the people around him just did not have a good balance. And I feel like that's another message, too. Like, you have to have balance, temperance, a little bit of both. Your shadow helps you. I talked about that a lot last season. Like your shadow helping you tackle certain things. You need the shadow. Because if you only light, then what's up? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to do too much of shit. Even Jesus wasn't perfect. You know, in the, you know, the storyline, even Jesus wasn't perfect. So people who come off in this way, they they frighten me because I wonder what's beneath all that perfection that you try to exude. What where's the what monster creeps out? <laughs> like the fuck? Who <laughs> you crazy crazy? What's y'all gonna like? <laughs> I like when I see what I call a Jesus freak or like an extreme Christian, you know, <laughs> I be scared. <laughs> <laughs> I be scared of them. When I see a motherfucker, they be Jesus, 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 Jesus. I be afraid of them. Who are you? What you be doing? Why you like that? I don't. I be scared of their ass. Cause baby, baby, for you to be that lost in the sauce, that extreme, baby, you battling some shit. Mm-hmm. You 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 tough battling some shit. But yeah, I worry about those types. Like Jesse was a preacher in the show, but he was like realistic type preacher. Like I am who I am, you know, type energy. But when you find them people that just Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, and not saying you're supposed to show all your faults, because some people just don't want you to see their shadows. And maybe we're not supposed to, like, but so it's like, who gives us the right? Like, I stand on both ends. I can see it from both ends, and that's a fatal, like, uh, for me, because I'd be like, it, it's a double edged sword for me to be able to see certain things from different perspectives. But still, they do be scaring me. The super Christians scare me. The Jesus, 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 Jesus freaks, they scare me. Because it's like they don't realize that Jesus had shadows. They like exalt him in such a way where he's just like this perfect being. And it's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and it's to an extreme that is idolization and e that can get scary. Like he was human, you know what I'm saying? He had flaws. He just was a good loving person, but you know, he had flaws. He had his ways, just like everybody else. So they be doing too much. That idolization, you know, it's scary. It's like, damn, bro, why are you? So- yeah, I feel like I guess what I'm trying to say is like, why are you so afraid of your shadows? Why are you so scared? They is it? What is the monster under the bed that comes out for you, bro? Ugh, I'm scared of that. Ooh, who come out to play when you get dark? Who comes out to play? <laughs> ah, anyway, I guess this for them. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, just an observation. Period. But yeah, you may have lacked some sort of strength um, to find yourself at one point, but you did make a decision to step into being more grounded and releasing a level of emotion. And therefore, you took control of your journey and now you kind of balance things out so y'all can read it from a different direction. Um, other than there's an emperor looking to travel towards you to create balance. It could go either way, you know, take away resonates. <laughs> But I did just get another download after that brief rant about the super Christians. I know some super Christians and they, they came from the dark. Have y'all ever heard people like they be like women who like step off into religion very deeply or that were very spiritual. Like they were hoes. 
They were the hoest of the hoes. You were the thoughtiest of the thoughts. <laughs> and that's why you lean in so deep. That's what I mean when I say that. Like, bitch, what is them shadows looking like? Because you going overboard with that shit. <laughs> red flag for me okay thank you okay tell me about the near future please so spirit wants you to tap in to maneuvering forward but you either have a king of pentacles in the reverse and this could be you or this person's energy i'm praying for the tribe it's not you but just in case you know i gotta do the due diligence of the lord so i'm here to say that you're gonna be given a new offer do not be selfish do not be greedy do not be materialistic and you could either have been going through a new step and you got this king of pentacles in the reverse on your heels <sighs> trying to offer you something take it where it resonates something's being hidden though somebody hiding something with this this sun in reverse leo energy somebody's hiding that they're under judgment right now okay so this king of pentacles this emperor energy this person is gonna come back around you male or feminine take it where it resonates and they are going to be trying to hide that they under judgment, clarity. And they need your help. Six of coins in the up, right? Because they trying to avoid like these this ten of swords in their back. <laughs> but they ass is down bad, baby. Ten of pentacles in the reverse. And that's why they ass being slowed down. That's why they having a delay. Mm-hmm. They might not, you might not even be talking to this. Yo, they have a misfortune. I'm going to tell you, this is this, this person. I know like hell, this ain't the collective. <sighs> you moving on and on with an upward like George and Wheezy to a deluxe apartment in the sky. I, I, I. Yeah, you moving on up. And this person know this shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they not getting their due diligence. You, uh, you, you reach, realize some shit. <laughs> Yo, you realize some shit about these people or this person in, but he working with somebody. Yo, you realize these people working together to stop your goals from coming forth. Maybe they want some type of justice, but it look like you getting justice instead. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm, this King of Wands in the reverse. So these two people, okay, so we got the two. We got one person, we got two person. Somebody feeling very vengeful. This person, want, ooh, death. Ooh, the death card came out. Ooh, that King of Wands is experiencing a lot of endings right now. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles came out two times, y'all. Different ways. They want to end your new start. One, two, two, two. Gonna take it by two. Yo, he having a bad way. He want to cause some sort of misfortune because they're experiencing misfortune. So they are going to try to come. They, they want to end your new start. That's ridiculous. Tell me about the three of sticks overall. Yeah, you made a decision and the page of swords is in reverse. Like saying, don't, don't even consider. Okay. Don't think now. Don't backtrack. Don't backtrack. Backpack. Oh, door to face. Spoiled faces. Ooh, somebody going to try to come and try to create a tower so they can bring you full of uh, offer. Somebody don't want you to know what they doing, what their plans are. <laughs> yeah, keep moving on, baby. Six of Swords, two, two, two. Yeah, continue to move forward. Yes, Queen of Wands, confident. You know what you know, what you know, period. Yeah, you know what you know, period. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. I know that's right. Move on with confidence. You you got this, okay? Yeah, this person wants to stagnate you and stop you by coming. This this partnership will only stagnate you. Working with these people will only hold you up, keep you trapped, keep you stuck. When really you meant to move on and be this confident queen of pentacles with this queen of wands. Like you're in charge. I'm in charge. Like off of hustle and flow. Yeah. 
they work in the guild to stalk you. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. This king of swords. I'm like, bitch, I don't even care. Like, yeah, the truth is, ace of swords in the back, though, is somebody going to come towards your ass to stop whatever you're working on because you took a leap of faith and decided not to move forward uh, because this whole situation was harming you and harming your ability to have multiple options and possibilities so you chose to heal and you realized someone was throwing you off balance because you weren't achieving your goals you weren't doing shit um by balancing out with this relationship yeah something was exposed here about this yeah somebody sees that you're the empress and honestly the blinders are off they know that you're gonna get a new start mm -hmm. and they don't like that she start reverse <laughs> But they can't do nothing to stop it because you won the fight. And now they want to take action, babe. Being their feelings. They being emotional. Why are you so emotional? <laughs> like, no. Why are you so emotional? All right, let's see what the oracle is saying. Yeah, you're experiencing a rebirth right now. Uh, from this situation from the past what about the present yeah something something's not over death in reverse why not yeah it's not over someone wants to take your determination um but don't trust them don't trust something heal you've healed you don't trust them you've healed they want to stop you they don't want something to end. They want to stop you from having this fight in you. You don't trust them. You've healed. Shout out to you. Tell me about the collective energy. You may have decided that you don't want to work with a family member anymore. You realize this person doesn't care about you. So maybe that's why you're not communicating with them. You'll be provided for right now, though. You're being provided for. You know, Taurus, Sag, Cancer. Mm -hmm. Up to three people are working in your room. One person trying to come towards you and balance things out. But you don't, you no longer want to connect with this energy anymore. Like, you don't care. Um, Something. What's that pride card? I mean, provide card, but be provided for it do not be conned into a loss <laughs> these people trying to take your power man like i said they want your shine real big because whatever they're building isn't sacred like they don't got it and they're hiding that that's a mystery play it cool baby tell me about the near future yeah continue to do the work Continue to do the work, you little worker bee. There's a bee on this card. Tell me about the overall. Yeah, this king of swords wants to come in with the bed to you. Deal in reverse. Yeah, they're consumed with getting you to accept this. Um, you got strength card here. Consumed with getting you to this bad deal. Uh, stay strong. And because these people, they're just all over the place. Stillness in reverse. And Spirit says, they want you to forget to follow your instincts. I'm going to leave that way you see it. <sighs> Collectively, like, obviously you still dealing with these energy of people, snakes, reptilians, monetary spirits, etc., etc., that are still around you as you make this transition and grow and ground and come to grips with the fact that you you know you lose your strength by taking an offer you know this this emperor doesn't give a fuck okay they only care about power and you know the decision to work anything out doesn't have anything to do with wanting to be close to you or family. Like, they don't care. Spirit says, do not even communicate with this person. If you're in no contact, don't. You, you're being provided for regardless. And this person, you know, don't let them con you because they are in a loss right now. 
and they want to take your power because nothing that they do is worth a damn Mm -hmm. so these people like i think i mentioned the other day like how these people are still gonna hunt you like when you a warrior when you're like a spiritual assassin you feel me this is the lick you feel me i don't know who you was in a past life but this the lick this is what it is this what a read for like tell me about the work card yeah transform continue to do the work on changing your life. That's what I get. Let's see what the back of those say. Yeah, somebody can't create something because you've gotten wiser. And you're no longer inspired. Yeah, don't collaborate this person. You take your inspiration. They'll take your courage. They haven't changed. They are not happy. They're hiding. Their confidence and patience is rooted in trying to trap you. Those are their intentions. Man, god damn. <laughs> this is annoying, bro. It just got annoying. Like, like somebody has stepped off the fucking deep end. These people have stepped clean off the fucking deep end. And it's like, bitch, can you swim? Because you tripping. I cannot be your life jacket, okay? Fuck. Yeah. There, this is a mystery. What's the mystery card? Yeah, they want to play games. Clarity. Yeah, they want to play because you laid some sort of situation to rest. And they believe that they want to they want to play, rest, believe, grow, what it peace. Yeah, you at peace. Okay. don't want you to hunt don't be afraid so okay okay so to get the deal the jig is to the play is to get you to lower your inhibitions because they see you at peace they they so they gonna come through all some shit like oh and i think that's been the thing like they want to come through like everything, everything, but in reality, they they smiling, but they got a knife behind their bed. Like they wait for you to lower your sword so they can stab your ass. Mhm. You ended some sort of attachment. You know, you you're going through a rebirth, and they realize energetically that they've been cut. Mhm. Mm they realize it, honey, and they don't like that shit. So they come afford, or they, at least they gonna try. But spirit says, do not be afraid, though. This kindness is a disguise. Damn, I just fucking said that shit. I'm gonna leave that way and say, <laughs> any act of kindness is a fucking disguise. They they don't want you to be afraid of them. Would you not? But they don't want you to have your... I'm, I'm going to say we ain't scared of the ass. I'm going to say we just simply are weary. You know? Like, I can be weary. That don't mean I'm scared of your ass. I just know you ain't shit. And it's like, you know they ain't shit. And they don't want you to feel like they ain't shit. So they're going to try to pretend like they so game. I'm so game. No, you're not. You're weird. And you need to find another fucking storyline. But... Apparently, these energies have followed you through lifetimes. So, in every lifetime, slay the ass like the demons that they are. And, you know, keep it, keep it pimping, pimp. Mm -hmm. That's what I get. But that's my word, y'all. I, I don't even got to tap too tough into the ancestors. You know what I'm saying? Because the ancestors, I only got one card for the ancestors. It might be a disrespect for y'all because it is sad. <laughs> I'm going to get another way. Okay, ancestors. Is there anything else y'all want us to know about this? Because I love it. Ancestors like, damn. I don't want to talk yesterday. I mean, you know. <laughs> you know. Um, okay, y'all. Let's see what the answer is. Ancestors, do y'all got anything else for us about these person, these people who they, you know, don't trust that they've healed. This isn't over. Yeah, mm -mm. Ooh, stay realistic, stay grounded, okay? It's Groundhog Day for these hoes. 
tell me what else I need to know, please. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I be trying to say like, you know, Miami. She got some type of way of saying thank you. Thank you. Anyway, I like it. It's interesting, girl. Okay, anyway. Tell me about what these folks had. Mm-hmm. Three of coins in reverse to the emperor. Your spirit says do not work with this motherfucking emperor. He came out twice. Don't work with this emperor. Mm-mm. Don't do it. Tell me about the present. Give me some more. Yo, somebody trying to pretend like they heal, but they really still imbalanced. They crazy as hell. Mm-hmm. They delusional. They a liar. They a con artist. They just trying to con you out of your nana biscuits. Tell me about the collective. Yeah, stay in Herman mode right now, okay? Stay committed. Stay grounded. Mm-hmm. Near future, please. Yeah, there's a cycle that hasn't ended here. Um... With the two of baskets. What is that? Yeah. A cycle has not ended. Um, but this energy is not aligned with you. It's not healed. Clarity. Mm-hmm. This higher fun. These people ain't learning. They listen. Keep going. Move on. Eight of sticks. In the other right. They're going to be coming towards you. Ugh. They probably trying. You change though. They gonna try to pretend like they have to. They gonna work to change these, but because they don't want to cycle the end. They don't want this unrequited, unbalanced energy. They want a chaser because they a runner. They a track star. How dare you make me chase you and I'm the track star. <laughs> baby bad okay boy stop <laughs> yeah somebody had learned they listen so they still gonna try to come after you they still gonna try to come for a try to communicate give me one more about that cause come on now for real yo this a hidden enemy they they, they think they so sleek they think they so smart <sighs> stay strong period Uh, tell me about the overall energy ancestors yeah somebody is definitely strategizing to stop you from moving forward. Ace of sticks in reverse. Call judgment on these motherfucking lanes. And do not partner with these. Because they're not making no progress. <laughs> they are facing the streams of their actions. Towards the empress. Mm -hmm. Yo, they don't want to see you do shit. They don't want to see you become the empress. They, um, there's judgment here. Judges being called and they don't they're not making any progress in trying to stop you from moving forward. You the empress. You the one all you the end all motherfucking be all, okay? And they don't like that. But jealousy is very dangerous. Envy is so dangerous. That's why when I get the hint that you got some sort of mm, cause you will kill people will kill you if they jealous of you. They will do the worst things. And I have seen the envious spirit on too many people. That I used to hold near and dear to my heart. But when you... Cause, and it's not hard to spot. Like, when they be being erratic. Like, trying to take you down. Trying to talk about you. Just malicious for no fucking reason. Like, that's their whole storyline. Is being in somebody else's fucking business. Being envious. The only storyline they have is gossip. They ain't never gonna talk about what they for they sell. You got to run from them type folk. Envy, uh, envy is a jealous spirit. Envy spirit will kill your ass just because of your light, just because of your shine. Think Selena and what a face. She don't even got a name in my storybook no more. <sighs> Rest in peace, Selena. Don't you let what a face come through, haunt that hope, because she ain't right. She wasn't right. Jealous ass. Anyway, you ain't it? I could see why you was jealous. I mean, really. But that's how they do you, though. So don't think that you can work with these type of people. Spirit says do not. This chapter close. Done. Fin. Don't strike this chord back up. Stay strong. Stay courageous. You know. This person is their hidden enemy. They really are. 
Mm-hmm. Father Quan, I thought I'd just pull one more just in case. No, this person, is, they mad because they, they not getting what they want out of life. Their fortune is to be the father of coins in reverse. And they want what you got, period. Okay. That's my word, y'all. I'm, I'm through with that. I'm through with that energy. Mm-mm. Confirmation, Bert. I'm through with that energy. Because, like, fuck. That's your storyline? <laughs> I posted that on all my Facebook, like, that's your storyline? Your whole storyline is tearing a goddess down. A god down. Take it where it resonates. That's your whole fucking storyline, though. Mm, that's that's tragic. That's unfortunate. But I love you guys. I pray this message gives you the clarity that you need in your situations. It is Mercury Retrograde, so these people are going to be resurfacing. Do with that what you will. Please make sure you learn to listen during this season. Don't talk to the ears. Don't care about the ears. Nothing they is. If you need a reading, click the link in my bio. I am available. And if you want to enjoy the extended reading to see the visuals, you know, 333 for the extended readings. And then you get a little ritual, a little something, something on the second tier. And on the third tier, which we are still cultivating, we will do this team together every single month. Okay. But, yo, turn your notifications on, you guys. You know I'll be around. We will chat soon. Okay? Bye.